My friends challenge me to a build battle, so I'll be cheating with Slash Slash Pro, which will create the most illegal builds, just so I can win this build battle. Scary circus. Ooh. All right, good luck, guys. Don't get scared. And now that I'm over on my side, if I do Slash Slash Pro, I get this, which looks completely crazy. We have ingredient thingy. We have some sort of conveyor belt. And most of all, we have three workers right here. We have a pillager, a villager, and Steve. What is wrong with you? But I want to show you what this does first. If I summon a villager into the conveyor belt, he'll slowly go through and turn into... Oh, okay, wait, this is kind of evil. Who took your head? There we go, got alternating things like that. It's beautiful. But first, let me get rid of all the evidence and maybe use that for later because I'm going to be using you guys first. All right, just going to add the white stripes right here. And all I really need to do is make a circus. And it doesn't even need to be big because now if I make a small roof, we have a weird looking circus. These guys will now work. They've also summoned a bunch of skeleton miners. Why is this? I have a whole army. So we're finished with this. Now I want to get like a center pole. And what is this block? They're making some sort of caution tape, which is low-key perfect for this circus. I'll leave them to building whatever they're doing. And before I start transforming different mobs, I'm going to make sure no one's going to be peeking over. Alright, this is looking good so far. Starting to rise up more. And Kippy already looks like she's building an insane circus. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. Oh, this looks actually pretty awesome. But just to keep her a little bit distracted. I'm not some TNT right there. Just fill it in like this. Ah! What the? Hey! And she won't realize that's happening. Oh, did this? Oh, looks like Pepper's already done this much. All right. That's pretty good for a circus tent. Now we just need to like make an entrance. So I guess can go like this, maybe? How's your circus already look like this? This is ridiculous. Let me get my spyglass. Either way, I need to do more testing. So cow, you go in. Oh, he was dying. All right. Once the cow goes in, hopefully I want to see what it turns into, which... Oh, no. Oh, how are you dying? How can I get you out of here? He's going to die. The elephant's going to die. The elephant died. Well, we now know cows turn into elephants. Maybe this needs to be a little bit bigger. And this time, no roof. Peppers look so good. I don't see him on his plot, though. If a cow goes was in this time come on please this should work an elephant should come out am i able to lead you oh i can well 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 look at this he's not in his plot huh get inside here because every circus needs an elephant slash slash pro is overpowered and literally have an elephant in minecraft light it up yo what was that run away my entrance what? in the meantime the builders have done a great job what is this where even is the entrance guys is no one making the entrance why is there poison but this looks cool right Small. Yeah. Pepper blew my face up. I know it. But while they're working on the inside, I'm going to do something special. And that's to make a roller coaster. We have a trash looking roller coaster, but there's a reason I made it like this. Because no one's going to have fun doing this at a circus at least, right? What's going on? You guys talking about me? <laughs> I told you. That man is a menace. Pepper, no. Pepper, no. But if I use my minions, these guys are going to work. What is this? Yo, this is the best cheat I've ever made. We've both been sabotaged enough. I tell you what, let's team up. It turns a Kipling smaller teaming. And it looks like Pepper's been to war. I love it. I love it. Okay, I have no idea what's going on here, but the clown gives me an idea. If a villager turns into a headless villager, a zombie should theoretically turn into a clown. Now, this might be stupid. And a zombie turns into a clown. Where is he running? Where, where are you going? What are you doing? What are you... What just happened? Am I able to lead you? I can't lead you. Uh, for now, could I push you in a boat? I need to put you inside there. And my builders are already going to work. Look at these guys. They're building this wall so high. All right, let's test this out. See if this summons our scary clown. Oh, yeah. You stay there for now. At least I know you kill people. But every circus needs a clown. So now we have our main character. Something else that circuses have is a little game area where people can play games before the main show. For example, I should add some target blocks here. Make the place look slightly cooler. And like that, we have our first game, which is literally throw snowballs at the target blocks. Time to make the popcorn stand. And now we need someone to host it. And it can't be the clown because he goes inside the circus, which I can't even see. I don't even know what's going on over there, but I'm gonna leave these guys to do their thing. Now, if I was to put a rabbit inside here, what would the rabbit turn into? That's the real question. Go all the way. And from the other end comes... Wait, why does this guy look like he's from Five Nights at Freddy's? There you go. Just just right inside there, my friend. I <laughs> like that we have a worker. Alright, now we just fill our bedrock box up with scary clowns. In the meantime, 
meantime, I want to see what's inside this giant construction box. So what even is this block? I have no idea. But if I was to break it down, the inside doesn't look done. And I'm looking at you, the guy who's standing still. Oh, now he's turning. Okay, look. But they've seemed to already have done a lot on the outside. And wait a second. They've completely changed my roller coaster. And don't tell me this is what I think it is. No way this actually works. Did you build this? What is this? I could actually sit on it. The train's actually going. We actually have a working roller coaster in Minecraft. So uh, we're actually going to make a little bit of a pitfall trap here. Okay, this is awesome. No one is being this. And it seems like the inside's also kind of done. I hope no one comes over and sees the caution box because this is a little bit sus. But when did trees get added? And what have they done to my machine? Okay, I seriously don't know what's happening. Okay, yo, these guys are going crazy. All right, so now we made our shark pit. In the meantime, clown, you're gonna come with me. And I'm gonna take you into your new home, which honestly is perfect right there. Can I just like block you off so you don't leave? Just don't leave that area now. Okay, and you might be saying like, those are dolphins. Uh, they're obviously not gonna kill anything. Well, look at this. Fall off the tightrope. Yeah, the shark's got him. But that's enough with a conveyor belt, because I never realized about this. Enter ingredient below. For example, if I was to put a trap door inside here, and it's heading off, where are you heading off? Oh, whoa, 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 where is it getting taken? It got flipped. Yo, you guys just saw it got flipped up here. What are you turning into? Is it inside this chest? Oh, we have something called a hound trap. Wait, is this an actual trap that I can place? Oh, what happens if I walk over it? I get slowed. I'm gonna place these all over the place. Because this is supposed to be a scary circus. So if we place traps everywhere. Maybe a couple skulls like that. In the meantime, I have some space here for something. And I'm gonna do a simple build of a carousel. Which only needs to be a circle. Okay, ignore my circle. There's a reason I'm building it this bad. And that's because if my builders can make a working roller coaster, I'm pretty sure they'll be able to make a working carousel. Or is that too much for them? If anyone peeks over, they're gonna see this entire build. Which gives me a good idea to maybe sabotage them. Because look at these teamers. They've got a giant tent already. But luckily, there's nothing inside. And they have a cool-looking popcorn area. Okay, yeah, this needs to go. And for some reason, they have my caution blocks. Let's see if I add some TNT right here. I'm just going to take some redstone, connect it to their redstone already. And I'm literally say press for good luck. And what does this do? I think Smalls noticed it. Uh, She clicked it and... No! Popcorn. Never click a lever in a bill battle. That's like the number one rule. But my side seems to be completely done. The construction blocks have gone. Inside looks completely abandoned, which I like. Maybe I can just add some villages over here. What's this? Do not enter. Uh... What is down here? That's creepy. Okay, seriously, who built this? I know it's supposed to be a scary circus, but yo, this is too scary for me. What if I bring the clown down here? Put them in survival and he'll hunt them down. Wait, that's perfect. But like I thought, the carousel's actually working. This is exactly what I wanted. Oh, I can actually sit on this. Okay, Slash Slash Pro might be the most overpowered cheat to ever exist. They're never gonna expect a trap to be here. This is what they get for breaking my popcorn. Now, this is gonna be the entrance. And maybe I make this out of, like cracked stone to give it a bit of a abandoned vibe. And what better than add just a bunch of blood around here? I also never checked if this works. Please tell me it works. Oh, okay, guys. I think this might be the best build battle ever. I do need to get rid of all the evidence because I don't think I have much time left at all. And that's now disappeared. So it looks like I legitimately built this. All right, so we got our three attraction event. We got the tightrope walking. We got the scary clowns at the end. And then we got the where I'm gonna jump and land and avoid the spikes it's gonna be super cool super epic i'm gonna do a slash ash pro again because i want to know what redstone would turn into so if i was to put one redstone inside here it gets caught up okay we already know this process but i want to see what this would turn into and instead we get this block i mean it does kind of look like redstone but it's got eyes what would be even creepier is if i replace some of the red blocks with the eye blocks that looks kind of awesome no this tent is really nice kipley thank you yeah i kind of went crazy on it what about a simple oak block what does the slash Ash pro machine actually do it's gonna get flipped oh, i love seeing this animation and i get a coffin? Yo, this might come in clutch. Where could I put a coffin? Can I put a coffin standing up? I can. A coffin under this tree and one right there. But I think my build's pretty much complete now. Meaning we now had to meet in the middle to see who would get scared. All right, gentlemen. Welcome to the Kipley and Small Circus. Okay, you guys team. So this isn't fair already. Okay, come over here. They can only get 20 points now. Once in a forest that was abandoned, there landed a meteor that struck down 
into the forest. Oh! Ooh. In the meteor, there were some evil spirits. Very evil! What they did around this meteor Whoa. is build a circus. An evil circus! They wanted to have fun on planet Earth, so they built a bouncy house. Oh, I totally forgot about a bouncy house. Oh, I like how his I like how his teeth connect to themselves. Over here! All right, let me get behind here, okay? Little popcorn stand. Oh, this looks so good with this. Yeah. Oh, this looks a little bit sus. Yeah. Uh, Anyone want some popcorn? Come on, we got actual popcorn in here. I knew it. Oh, it's a trap. Look at look at this this shape. All right, you've never seen such a glorious tent. It, it was it was a big build. I liked it. There was a lot to do. I'm gonna give it a solid ten out of ten. Yeah, you, you guys teamed, but you teamed pretty well. I'm gonna go ten out of ten too. Kibli and Small got 20 out of 30. All right, so make sure you're in survival for this one because you need to really experience the dangers of the scary circus I've made here. All right, already looks creepy. All right. Little little tightrope, make your way into the audience and you can just, I have a full three-part um, circus for you today. Oh, okay, okay. There's also dolphins here? Okay, you know what? You got the whole thing. I'm just gonna stand right here. Oh no, these are not dolphins. They are sharks. Ooh. For our first act, I will be jumping down into to this spike pit and landing perfectly in the middle. Okay. Oh! Boom. Congrats, oh, congrats, that was huge. For my second act, I will be walking across this tightrope over the shark pit. Y you know what, I I'll class my sharks. Okay, cool. Oh, the dolphins are named shark. Wow. Very cool. Would any audience member like to attempt to cross the shark pit? Okay, small. Oh, oh, no. Oh. <gasps> Wait, the sharks got her. Wait, they actually kill oh. you. They actually kill you. And for the last bit, everyone loves circuses. But what do we come to circuses for, everyone? Clowns. Yes, Quiff. Oh, oh my God. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. Put him into the sharks. Oh, they got Quiff. This gets a 9.5 out of 10. <laughs> 9 out of 10. Pepper got 27 out of 30. So this is my build. Everyone hop into survival. Okay. Uh, why is there blood on the floor? So this is the entrance to my Wait. scary circus. Circus. Who hurt you? <gasps> no. There's eyeballs. There's something missing from this stall. Uh, wait, what? There's also dead villagers. Uh-uh. Timothy! But this was still a circus, so obviously there will still be games here. Oh, this is sick. Play games by the dead bodies? Sure. Yeah, you can actually play actual games. Uh, Whoa! <laughs> Nina! That's crazy. But you guys also never noticed the host is still there. Whoa! And okay. then you meet a little roundabout thingy majiggy. What? I'm on it! Whoa! But now you've made it back in a circle. Wait, there's villagers here. It's a carousel. Ah! What is that? Ah! Ah! It doesn't have a head! It's the dead villagers. Uh, I'm gonna stay over here. I'll take the sword though. Yoink. And now what else would be creepier than eyes watching you? Yeah, what is that? Do not enter. Wait, I can't even see down there. That is not one of us. Uh, why is there laughing? Did you guys hear that? Hey, what's up? Oh, it's after me! You guys can give me the voting results by just sitting on this. Wait, there's more? It's a roller coaster! I want to be the front. It's moving. This is sick. No way. Oh, wait, this is the back? You have your final Whee! roller coaster. 12 out of 10, can I go now? Uh, yeah, this is a 15 out of 10, but I'm very scared. I don't like broken roller coasters. Is the lightning gonna hit me? I give you a 12 out of 10. Meaning Slash Slash Pro was the best cheat. And my friends were terrified. Survival base. Okay, good luck, guys. Good luck. Ooh. Now, before I do Slash Slash Pro, I'm gonna place a sapling right here and just bone meal it. Cause this is gonna be my survival base. And now that I'm doing Slash Slash Pro, look at these guys already working. They've completely added caution tape around here and they're already saying off where they're gonna start building. So they're gonna be improving that entire build. It's so cool. Look at him. He's already breaking blocks. But it gives me an opportunity to peek over on Pepper's side. And wait a second. Why is he with small? I'm in survival still. Um, can I borrow some bones? What exactly are those two doing together? Good luck with your survival base. Are they gonna team? Thank you. Bye-bye. Okay, minions. This needs to be really cool. I guess my second competition is Kipley. Here we go. Look, we've dug out this little area. Now we just gotta line it with wood. 
but it seems like it's already been completed. And why has this tree become even smaller? What is going on? All right, Quiff, I'm trying to play uh, my survival base or build my survival base in survival, uh, but I am taking donations. Do you have anything for me? That's it. Just take take a stack of oak. Go, go, go. Oh, Get off my plot. You're cheating. Go, go, go. Oh, I'm cheating. Okay, I don't think he saw these minions, and if he did, this is going to be questionable. But it seems like they've completed it. They've just completed what I wanted. Why is there a button now here? What's this guy doing? He looks like he's powered off. <laughs> so with you. All right, well, I'm going to click this button. Oh my, what is this? And look at this guy, he's already moving on. Oh wait, these pro minions might be the best thing ever added to Minecraft. But I don't know how big I want to make it. And it seems like these guys want to make something underground, which is completely fine with me. All right, yeah, I like the walls. Uh, What should the floor be? I'm thinking I want to go down this way five times. So they should have enough space. There's already some down here. They have the caution tape. Okay, they're starting to actually work with this. So while they're working on the actual main base, I'm going to add a little bit of detail around here. My precious cobblestone. I need it. Stop burning up. By making a cool little oasis like this, I can completely fill it all up with water. Okay, honestly, that looks really cool. Because by simply bone mealing the area around this, I can make it look super awesome. And when they think this is the actual survival base, little do they know it's actually down there. All right, floor is looking good. Maybe we expand it out from here. Oh, and it seems like these guys are already going crazy. I don't want to peek down there so far, but the obvious thing to do is to make a fake survival base. And what better base than like a casual villager house? It just needs some windows and now just a bit of a roof. This honestly looks like a really cool house people would live in. I just need to add some little detail on the inside and the classics, which will be a bed, some chests, a crafting table right here with a furnace with a cool painting. Boom. Survival house is now done. Now Pepper said he's making his entire base out of survival. And I think he really is, which is going to be interesting to see. We're not not gonna do great against the builds, but what we can do, we can try to sneak in and grab some more valuable blocks from everyone else. But looking at his build gives me a really cool idea that I need to do, and that's pretty much make a farm. Just a basic survival farm with some cows and some sheep. That looks super cool. In the meantime, I'm gonna close this off and go underneath. But what are these guys building? Okay, what is this? It doesn't seem like it's working so far, but they're doing something. There's a whole chest room. Okay, this is a giant looking bed. This is exactly what like to see. Beautiful. Now we have that. Now to get some wood. Problem is, how do I really get out? I guess just break out. Yeah, I'll open the hole for you guys so you can go back to work. Now, I also want to check up on what Kipley's doing. And I can't really tell. So this calls for some invis investigation, which is a normal survival looking base. Nothing out of the ordinary. Unless I give Kipley bad omen. And if I place a village on Kipley's side, I've started a raid on our area. Who started a raid on my base? The raid is now st starting on our area, which is is gonna be interesting. Ah, uh, Kipley, I kind of feel sorry for you. Your place is gonna get ruined. All right, buddy, seems like you're trapped down here. In the meantime, what happened to my base? How have they all escaped? Since they didn't build the base, they completely destroyed it, meaning my building was for nothing. Luckily, there's still world edit on this server, so I have to rush and make something completely different. Okay, this looks like a solid outside base. Let me just clean it up a little bit. By destroying all the grass in this area, I can start to fill up this place again with water. Wait, why am I making it? If they destroy it, they can rebuild it. You guys were so good the first round. Now you've sabotaged me. Oh, I wish I could punch them. Okay, thankfully they made a wider range of a construction zone. This is exactly what I needed. Alright, I like this. It's just gonna be multi-layers of wheat. This one's making a farm over here, placing the water. This one's building a house? Either way, let me see what they made that would warrant them destroying my place. What in the world is this? Yo! Yo, this is crazy. And what have you created? It looks like an automatic furnace. Oh, this is perfect. This is like the best survival base you can ask for. It's super obvious that this is here. Look, well, this is beautiful. They're going to be planting, doing it all for me. Oh, these guys are making a massive survival base and a massive farm. I didn't think it'd be that big. But now this place is starting to look really cozy. I think just to kind of decorate this entire area so they have no idea where the real survival base is. If I was to make a quick little dock where you can theoretically go fishing, I think this looks really cool. This is the ultimate survival base, people. Okay, we need lots of food. Do you hear me, villager? Get to working, buddy. And inside. This looks kind of nice. Maybe I'll help them a little bit by adding some chests around here so they know exactly. This guy just made a furnace. I didn't really check Kipley's, but she's made some really good progress. I don't know why it's not planting over here, but it is very annoying. Also, how has Pepper got full iron? Well, if I was to pop into Invis and go a little bit closer, I have an idea. And that is, I'm just going to make some guardians on your side. Yo, yo, who's there? 
Iron golems. Wait, you're making iron golems out of my base? Don't mind me. <laughs> Why are you doing this? He literally has a cobblestone generator. I'll get rid of all that. Uh, and I can't even kill them because I'm in freaking survival mode. On Kipley's base, there's going to be an imposter. And these imposters are going to take out her entire survival base. Uh, What is that noise? They've infested her base. Where did you guys come from? Well, I don't know how much longer we actually have left. So I'm going to do some last minute building. AK planting a bunch of trees. Okay, honestly, this looks super cool cool because i'm just gonna use a shovel here to make a bit of a path so it actually looks like people are living here all right let's store some of our old stuff in here there we go a little path over here that honestly looks really awesome and like that i think the only thing that's left is this house which honestly looks awesome definitely better than what i made what there was no warning or anything but with the time now up we had to decide whose survival base was the best follow me this way this is my survival base it looks awesome i can't lie i like it and the beds this is nice i like this i also saw you had farms up here so we have two layers of farms so up here we got the villagers going to work you know you really got to survive you need a lot of food yo yeah. this is actually insane very nice Kipley, i'll give you a seven out of ten i give you an eight i'll give it an eight and if y'all want to come over here follow this path there's going to be a little bit of a you know survival thing okay so there's a path that leads over into a tree what what kind of survival Ow. base is this? It was all a trick. Follow me. Oh, so that wasn't the real base. If you want to come down here and just come through here. Okay. You'll have wheat. Oh. <laughs> all I had time for was wheat and iron. I'll give you a four out of ten. I'll give you a six. You did manage to get like a cool survival forest theme going. You may not have a full base, but I like it. This gets a 6.5. And so follow me over here. You can't just enter. Be careful. You can't just enter. You have to you have to go through it the way it's intended. So what I have here is a journey through survival. He has a cobblestone generator. I kind of like it. I did this entire thing in survival mode. Keep it keeping that in mind. But here's the dirt house where everyone starts their journey. You store your one dirt, obviously. I like it with a tree on top. At the very end, we were made, able to craft our end game base, which you come in here. Yo, this is crazy. And you can even see my staircase to leave and see you guys. Yeah, I'm very impressed. Although you did take handouts, I'm going to give this a, a massive creativity boost. This is a 9 out of 10. I'm going to go with an 8 out of 10. And yeah, this is my entire survival base. As you can see over there, we have a cool little house. <gasps> little cottage we've got a little farm over here yo wait this is so cozy wait aren't these from the new update we're not even in the new update yet it's just it, that's how it is so we have everything you need we have furnaces anvil steak for anyone in survival right here oh crafting table big bonus boom welcome to the giant wheat farm oh i love how this looks oh wow we even got like a little fishing dock right here this is cute yeah a little fishing dock and an island what do you guys think of the survival base why is there a button here? Just to let you guys know, this was a decoy all alone. Click the button, Kipley. Yo, what? Huh? This is the what? real survival base. Yo, this tree just got flipped upside down. What is this? <gasps> You're greeted oh. with the real base. Everything you need extreme. Ooh. We have an automatic furnace farm. It's throwing out iron. Is this a conveyor belt? Over is here, we, right? we had some maintenance. Uh, the, the farm is no longer in use. There is a valid reason for that, but we can ignore that. Your harvesters are freaking out, man. Uh, yeah, th th there's, a, there's a story about... Uh, it was kind of rough. This is a 10. Uh, yeah, a 10. 10 is... This is awesome. Meeting slash slash pro was the best. And my minions actually worked.